Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card tarot reading. Piles 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The links are in the description box. Okay, pile number one. King of Cups, that is a yes. Who doesn't want to be the octopus, like king of this sea? Look at this guy. He's like at a party. He's got <laughs> he's got his champagne in his goblet. He's got a crown of a starfish. I feel like, man, maybe some of you are actually able to attend some kind of party despite the quarantine. Or maybe you are setting up some kind of party, you know, private party for two for the people you lived with. I don't know. There, I feel so much like luxury coming through here. A sense of fun, a sense of fun that you haven't had in a while. So this is a yes. This is a really happy, wonderful card to start out with. I'm have, glad, so glad to see it. So congratulations, guys. This is a really just pure, pleasant, good vibe. Yes. Okay, card number two. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is getting a financial fresh start um, or maybe moving or maybe just like clearing the air. I can imagine somebody <laughs> rearranging their furniture or finally opening up all their windows and letting some light in and realizing how dusty it is. And then, you know, clearing the air, putting some fans in the windows and just cleaning stuff out. I feel that this is such a fresh, physical, fresh start. This is really good. Um, lots of potential here. This is definitely a yes to, you know, do some spring cleaning. Uh, even if that's spiritual spring cleaning, emotional spring cleaning, something needs to be cleared out. But yeah, this is a really good vibe. This is a yes. Okay, pile number three. Seven of Swords. That's a no. This is somebody trying to be sneaky. This particular Seven of Swords is... I feel like it's more like sneaky like than deceitful, like with a normal Seven of Swords. I feel that somebody is afraid to show their true self, kind of like a throat chakra blockage. Somebody is hiding who they really are, and the funny thing is, is that nobody actually cares. If you're in some kind of closet, the people who are most worthy to be in your life, the people who truly love you, they don't care what kind of closet you're in. You should. They probably already know that you're in in that closet. This isn't just you know coming out as gay, although I mean it could be that for some of you. But whatever closet you're in, whatever you're secretly doing, or whatever you secretly like, this could even be somebody who is secretly really into anime and doesn't want to tell their their new you know partner because they're embarrassed that they watch so much anime. <laughs> but maybe your partner is secretly into a lot of anime too, and they're embarrassed to tell you. It's that kind of thing. So whatever it is, you should come out of your closet and the people, if, even if you alienate a couple of people, that's fine because you're better to be rid of them. The people who truly matter, just, uh, yeah, you, you, they won't, they won't mind. And they probably already know your secret. Um, wow. I went on a really big tangent for that. The general, <laughs> the general energy for this is, is a no. And it is because somebody is hiding their, identity somebody is being sneaky so to just yeah make to be clear on that this one was a no okay pile number four four of pentacles i gotta say this is a no this four of pentacles is particularly depressing to me because this little dude i don't even know what kind of animal he's supposed to be but he's like wearing shackles made of gold it's not good it's not good. This this card is sometimes the four of pentacles can be good if you're asking about money, but this four of pentacles, it's a bad it's a, it's a I don't know, it's a bad feeling. It's a bad feeling behind the money. Somebody is this is scarcity mentality. This is feeling insecure and the funny thing is that secretly all of your you actually do have enough, but your thoughts about money are trapping you. They're keeping you held down and you need to find a way to work through those. So this four of pentacles is kind of depressing and it is definitely a no. Okay, card number five. Page of swords. This is a yes. I feel this page is pretty adventurous. Is he taking a selfie? What is this? 
I had to pause the video to get a closer look at that card. It's not taking a selfie that he's holding a letter. It's been so long since I actually got a letter in the mail. I forgot what letters looked like, right? Um, but I feel like he just got some good news and he's really excited about it. This is somebody who just got their, um, you know, I don't know what country you guys all live in, but if your government is paying out money, uh, this guy just got his money. He just got some kind of good news, some kind of good communication. This is a good communication. Yeah, this is good news coming in and it's going to make you happy. This is a yes. Okay, card number six. Nine of swords. That's a no. Somebody is scared. Somebody is having nightmares. Somebody might be having psychic attacks. Somebody is really worried. The thing is, these worries are just an energy you need to work through. These, like... You're learning a lesson about anxiety and about how to deal with anxiety. If you're watching this right when I post this around this Scorpio full moon, yeah, the Scorpio full moon is making you feel like crap. <laughs> and just hang in there for a few days. Once we're on the other side of this moon, the energy is going to start to lighten up. I've been feeling a little bit like this too. I don't like the Scorpio full moon at all. You guys might be interested in watching. I also just did a uh, video, a pick a card reading on messages from Pluto. I feel like one of those readings might apply to you guys. So this is a no. And, you know, with the nine of swords, just hang in there, guys. This this pocket of anxiety isn't going to last forever. And the quicker you can learn the lesson behind this anxiety, the quicker you can get out of this pocket of energy. Okay, pile number seven judgment this is a yes particularly if you are wondering if you should share something with the world i feel like here we have this kind of egg down here and this you know judgment bear lady is holding this horn it you know is the kind of horn i think you could blow into i feel like she has something to share with the world not because the judgment card can be about, you know, cosmic justice, spiritual karma, you know, almost like the end of the world judgment day kind of thing. But it can also be about just expressing your truth almost as if you're the judge um, and standing in your authenticity and sharing what you have to share with the world. And just the art on this particular judgment card makes me vibe more to the second interpretation of the card. I feel you guys need to blow your horn. You guys have something to share. Yeah, it is time to like be authentic in the most powerful way you can. So this is a yes. Okay, card number eight. Eight of pentacles. This is a yes. This is a kind of low key card to me. Somebody is, somebody is gaining mastery at something. Somebody is having, this is a good, good card. If you're asking anything about work or finances, this is good. Um, any kind of skill you guys are working on, there's a certain level of becoming like a really advanced student. It's maybe not complete mastery, but you know, you're definitely out of the apprenticeship phase. You're in kind of the journeyman stage and, you know, you're getting ready to get your, you know, carpenter's ticket. If you were, you know, in, in carpentry school, this is that kind of feeling. You guys have a talent that you can continue to work on you have made a certain amount of progress developing your talent and you should keep working on it this is a yes okay card number nine five of cups this is a no this is you feeling like you have a fish for a head <laughs> enough said right uh you're feeling really confused you're feeling really alienated you're feeling really depressed you're feeling kind of butthurt you're feeling like nobody understands you and just it's not good the you know the secret message number two to go with this is that this is your moment of heart healing the five of cups i have really developed a new relationship with this card the five of cups we go through this heartbreak and this heart just this pain and this muddy sludge and that feeling of our heart chakras being like filled with mud we go through these moments in order to clear out that mud you can clear out your heart chakra you can clear the mud right out of it you can go through your heart healing on whatever level that needs to happen for you. As obviously, I can't get into it on like a yes or no reading, but just in order to work through this Five of Cups moment, do whatever you need to do personally in order to work on your heart healing. So this is a no. 
Good luck, guys. And card number 10. Ace of Swords. What a good one to end on. This guy feels awesome. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this rooster. He feels like he is on parade. He It's like first thing in the morning. He is going outside of the chicken coop to cock a doodle doo at the sun. Um, this is a sunny sun. I love the rooster on this. It's such a, like, morning has come. You guys have been through the darkness. You have been through your dark night. You have been through your struggle and your pain. And now the sun is shining. And now you have a fresh start. And now you have a little bit of divine justice coming in. You have a clear mind and clear sight because the sun is now shining and you can see everything for how it how it is. Your vision right now, your sight, either just literally, figuratively, or psychically is spot on. This is a yes. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.